I got a new item from eBay. And yes, it has something to do with cameras. This is the JVC HD camcorder that I usually use to record my videos. And then right there, that's the first camcorder I ever had. This is a JVC Averio GZ MS230. Standard definition, but it's been a great camera over the years. It has a video light. That one's got internal storage. The HD JVC is a GZ E100 AU. I got that off eBay. It was hardly used. Um, this camcorder I got as a Christmas present, I think back in 2009 or 2010. And that was the first camcorder I ever had. And I got this one in 2011, I think. And this is my second camcorder. It's a Canon FS40 standard definition. So, this has something to do with cameras, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have all these out. Let's take a look and see what it is. <clears throat> it's in a nice case. This is a really nice case, actually. Let's see if we got anything else in here. Yep. The manual. Pretty sure that tells you what it is at this point. Um, software. This is probably video editing software. My Canon FS40 came with that as well, and I used it for years, the, the editing software. So, pretty sure that's what that is. And this is... I'm not sure if it's a manual or if that's just some sort of a driver package. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. And we got some more instruction manuals. <clears throat> Main focus is going to be what's in this case. Obviously, let me see if there's anything else in here. Nope, that's it for that. Alright, let's open the case and see what we got. Been waiting for this all day. This is the... AC power cord that goes into the charging brick, which is right here. It looks exactly the same as the charger for my FS40. So that's good. Nothing else in there. And here is the camcorder that I got. This is a Canon Vixia HG20. And what's unique about this one, aside from the fact that it has a camera flash for the still image setting, uh, this one does not, I don't think it has a video light for normal video recording like my Canon FS40 does. So I'm pretty sure that's just a flash. And it's got stereo microphones. And what makes this one really unique, this actually has a hard drive in it. A real spinning hard drive. Um, how much? It's 60 gigabytes. These were very common about, uh, probably, I would say, 10 to 12 years ago, maybe even, probably about around, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say 10 to 12 years ago, because flash memory camcorders, like this one, and that JVC, the standard definition one, have built-in flash memory, but they're only 8 gigabytes, so, for the time, this was a lot of built-in storage, and this also has an SD card slot. So you can use that as well. Um, of course, nowadays, this uh, this newer JVC, this HD one, it has just an SD card in it. There's no internal storage, but you know you can get. Here, there's a cat right there making noise. But you can get, you know, a big SD card these days for not that much money, which is what I have in this. It's a SanDisk 128 gigabyte SD card, and I can get over 11 hours of high definition 1080p video on this camera with this SD card. But that's beside the point. This is also a 1080p camera, records in AVC HD. Got some ports right here. Let's see what we got. We got the composite video and audio out and a microphone input, which is nice. You can use an external microphone 
We got modes. Still image mode. Video mode. And then I think these are playback modes for still image and video. Record button is right there. Still image capture mo or button and then the zoom. This also has it's kind of dark, let me move that box away. Also has optical image stabilization, which is nice. I've never had a camcorder with optical image stabilization. All of these have digital image stabilization, which works pretty well, but optical image stabilization is nicer. There's the power button right there. And this one has a mini accessory shoe, so you can put a light or a microphone on that. So that's nice. And then there's the battery. Slides in the back like that, just like typical camcorder batteries. And the thing, the thing that's nice about these, you know, that slide in on the back and they're kind of exposed, is you can get higher capacity batteries, which is exactly what I did for this one. Um, the battery that's on here right now is much bigger than the one that came with it. Now on this Canon right here, you can see the back is closed, the battery is actually in here, so you can't really get a bigger battery, but the thing with the, these is the battery life was really good anyway, so it's not that big of an issue. Um, and even now, the battery is still acceptable, you know, 12, 13 years later. Um, so yeah, this one looks like it has an automatically opening lens cover just like this Canon does. The JVCs are uh, manual, as you can see. So, and I believe that's a remote sensor, actually. I don't think that would be an infrared light, because I don't think this has, like, a night mode. And I think this also came with a remote, so it should be... Yeah, it's right here. This is something you don't see with camcorders much these days. Is a remote. You can start recording and stop recording, take pictures with the remote, zoom, and of course use navigate the menus on the camcorder. And I would assume you'd probably use this if you have this hooked up to a TV set and you want to use the remote. So, yeah. I've wanted one of these hard drive camcorders for a while because I thought that I think they're really cool, kind of unique. This has a real nice strap on it, it's very soft. And, uh, yeah. I do have another hard drive camcorder coming this week. It's a JVC Avario high definition. Um, so that'll be interesting to see as well. And I also bought a VHSC JVC camcorder that uses the, uh, the small, the compact VHS tapes. And I'm really excited to get that later this week as well. That'll be fun to play around with, so let's open this up. And yeah, like I said, it has an SD card slot as well. It goes up to SD high capacity. Let's open up the display. And we have a very similar setup to the FS40. This one has the joystick, which is also an OK button, function button, and then the various other buttons. This one also has a joystick and it acts as an OK button as well. And there's the other buttons. We got wide and telephoto, start stop recording, and that would also be a play and pause button for when you're playing back I would assume. Function button and of course the little joystick. And power button is in the same spot as it is on the FS40. Looks like it has an easy mode. And that is the mini USB port. Let's see if we got any charge in the battery. And Like any camcorder, the screen can flip around this way and it can flip down like that. Let's try turning it on. Okay, looks like there's no charge in the battery, so I'm going to plug it in and we'll test it out. Charging port is under this flap right here. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, there you go. And then right here is an HDMI port. 
All right, I'm gonna plug it in. We are charging. Let's see if it turns on now. Yep. All right, I'm going to set the date and time. Looks like it's defaulting to, it's hard to see, but that says 2008. All right, let's, uh, let me adjust that and then just use the joystick. It looks like it goes all the way to 2030. I'll go to 2023, and it's September 8, 19th today. <clears throat> and we are currently at 6.01 p.m. And okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to change the time zone because right now it says New York. I'm not in New York. Looks like it has pretty much the same on-screen display type as uh, the FS40 does. Yeah, it's it looks the same. All right, let's get out of playback mode which you switch into right here and we'll go to video recording mode and you could probably hear the lens cover open and we have a picture zoom works nicely I think this is, yeah, it's 12 times optical zoom on this one which is perfectly acceptable, you really don't need any more than that for what I'm going to be using this camcorder for, which is you know my normal YouTube videos. This one um, has, I think, more optical zoom. The 2,000 times digital zoom I don't even use um, says 41 times advanced zoom. It's kind of similar to this thing's uh, 45 times dynamic zoom. This one though, the HD Avario, has 40 times optical zoom, which is nice. So, yep, let's uh, take a look at the still image mode. Okay, it looks like it's in just 4x3. Let's see if we have any options for picture quality. I'm not sure how many megapixels this has. And you can see we have a ton of capacity for pictures, 9,999. So that's a lot. Let's see what do we have here. We got manual modes, which is nice. Uh, we've got white balance, image effects, so you got different digital effects and stuff like that. As you can see. Continuous shooting, high speed continuous shooting. <clears throat> and here we have our image size. So we can do 1920 by 1080 and it looks like that's the, uh, let's see here, that's the highest resolution mode right there. So let's keep it on that because most pictures are taken like that anyway. I don't think many people really take pictures in 1920 by 1080. I think it's usually just uh, the normal 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And of course we're using the hard disk drive as the recording media zoom speed options. Let's I'm actually gonna go back to uh I do have an image stabilizer, so this does have digital image stabilization as well as optical image stabilization. I went back to video mode. You can look at the menu on this here. And we got manual modes on this uh setting as well. White balance, image effect, digital effect. Standard play is what it's set at right now. I'm going to go to the highest quality, which is 24 megabits per second. Menu. Frame rate. Okay, we do have 60i. Of course, we have progressive 30 frames and 24 frames per second if you want to have like a cinema effect, but. I'm just going to keep it on 60, 60i. Self-timer, focus assist, on-screen markers, 
guessing that's like a grid or something. This has a lot more functions on it than the FS40 does, that's for sure, but this was also a much more expensive camera at the time. Audio level indicator. I'll go ahead and turn that on, that seems kind of interesting. Digital zoom is off, I don't really need digital zoom, I'm just going to keep that off. Zoom speed is a variable, which I'm going to keep, so it depends on how you know, far you move over the switch. Autofocus is on, good. Image stabilizer, let's see what functions we have for that. So, I'm pretty sure this function is for digital image stabilization. You can see the audio meter as I talk, so that's kind of nice. Um, this does have optical image stabilization as well. <clears throat> Windscreen, basically like a wind cut function. And this is just a uh, system menu component output. Let's keep, yeah, that's going to be at 1080i. Go back to that. Turn demo mode off. I don't need that. All right. Wireless remote control on. Uh, notification sounds, that's fine. Quick start. Control for HDMI. And of course you can format the uh, drive. Photo numbering, time zone and stuff like that. I'm going to change this right now. So I'm in the Chicago time zone and daylight savings time is on. All right, and uh, yeah, hard disk drive info, 60 gigabytes total space, use space, it's only used 9.37 megabytes right now, so that there's nothing on it, and we'll exit out of the menu, so there we go, the time is right, time zone's right, so... And of course we can turn off the info on the screen. I'm going to keep it on. It looks like we got 5 hours and 32 minutes of record time. And yeah, there's uh, nothing on there, so that's good. I'm going to test the flash real quick. Take a still image. And the flash works. Okay. video recording and we'll start recording and there we go and you really can't even hear the hard drive it's very quiet it's very smooth too stop recording and let's see do we have a video light no we do not no big deal but yeah so um when you turn, or when you fold the screen in on these, basically goes into a standby mode. Then after a while it'll shut itself off, but um, it doesn't shut the camera down immediately when you go into um, stand, or when you uh, fold the screen in and go into standby mode. Alright, I am going to switch over to this camera now and we'll take some test footage. It's got a it's got a nice metal threaded tripod mount. So does uh, the FS40. It's metal, and the newer JVC has a metal one as well. The only one that doesn't is the GZMS230. It's just plastic threaded, which is fine, fine for most of the time. So, all right, here's the camera that I was just using. It is a Sony DSC HX100V. It takes 1080p video at 60 frames per second and as we can see the autofocus is working quite nicely on this camera. Screen can tilt down on this one which is nice. I'll go ahead and turn that one off. And we can see the other cameras.
and the zoom is working nicely. It's very stable. I like that. And now we have a visitor up here on the table checking things out. So yeah. Seems pretty comfortable to hold. It's definitely bigger than a typical flash memory camcorder because it's got a hard drive on it. And I'm wondering if the hard drive gets hot over time, but we'll find out as I record some more videos with it. And I'll also find out if we can hear the hard drive running in the video playback. I doubt you'll be able to because it's pretty quiet and it's not even vibrating at all, so I think we'll be fine. Uh, but yep, do some more test video in a little bit here. I really like how stable, oh, when I let go of the screen it gets kind of shaky, but that's also zoomed in all the way. Let's zoom it out a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of shaking right now, and it's uh, it's pretty stable, at least as far as I can tell on this little screen right now. So we'll see how it looks on the computer. Um, looks like I'm getting some digital noise on uh, in some of the darker air colored areas, and I don't know if that's just showing up on the display or if that's actually um, going to show up in the playback. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm getting a ton of noise in the picture right now. I'm really hoping that's just showing up on the viewfinder and not on the actual video. We'll find out, though. We are plugged into the computer now, and I'm going to see what the video playback really looks like. Just uh, looking at the still image that I took, even though it's really just a picture of uh, the table and a box, it seems pretty sharp. So uh, that's good. And let me exit out of this and uh, I'll go to the videos. I don't want to put this on mute. And it looks like it's all in compatible formats. Uh, so let's see what our video looks like in sort of a dark environment. This is the last video I took with it. And I am getting a lot of noise uh, in the darker areas. So that's too bad. You'd think it would have a better sensor than that. But um, I want to see what it's like in the kitchen when I was pointing it at that blue thing. Uh, the video quality is very good. It's very crisp. It's just uh, in some of the darker areas you can see some noise on the screen. me try and get to where I was pointing at that blue thing. Um, you probably can't really see it on this video, but um, it's not, it does not look as bad as it did on the LCD that's on the camera itself. So I was, uh, I was a little worried about that. It was, uh, that's not, not as big of an issue as I thought it was. And under normal use, normal lighting it looks just fine so um, I'm not gonna worry about that cuz uh, really most camcorders don't do very well in situations where there's not much light and here we are in different lighting I'm down in the basement now at my workbench testing out the video quality in this lighting
Now plug this in and we'll test out the sound quality with something loud in the background. Let's start this fan up. slightly darker area this is something that I tend to film quite often and uh, it's usually not very well lit I usually have it plugged in up here into this outlet so I'm not gonna plug it in because there's not enough room when I got the camera charger plugged in but that's how that'll look I'm hoping the battery does take a charge it should Obviously, I haven't had it plugged in very long, so um, it's not really fair to test it yet, but I'll let it charge for a while and make sure it's good. So. Yep. This is the Canon Vixia HG20 hard disk drive camcorder.